Hello and welcome. I'm Mystical. This is Mystical Gaming and we are back on Watcher of Realms. We are now day nine of the Pyros Fusion and yeah, we're looking good, I think. I think we're looking relatively comfortable. I haven't used any additional energy, I haven't brought any or, or the stamina pots, but you could easily use those and smash this fusion right out. It's not overly tricky to do, which is a good thing to see. I think anyone could get hold of any fusion they do, certainly if they stick to this sort of um, way of doing them and the points value. I think it's quite quite well done. So let's have a look at how we're doing in the fusion. We have got the um, Arrival of Heroes one. That is done. Now we have got the Mystery Artifacts come up, and that's in the Oracle's Trials. But also attached to that in the events, we've got the Brave Conquest event. Now earlier on, we did have a look at the Brave Conquest event, which says you have to get um, gear, or you have to get meteorite fragments from the Mystery of Artifacts. Now, it does appear that you get more points per energy from the Mystery of Artifacts. So we're going to run through the Mystery of Artifacts event. We're going to see how many points we get. I mean, it will only be a small sample size, but it will give us a rough idea of what we're doing and future events, how we have to go about this. So all in all, as you can see in the background, we've run through this and we've used today's energy going through the uh, Mystery of Artifacts event. Now, the stage isn't overly, uh, overly difficult or overly hard for anyone to get to I wouldn't imagine I would need to upgrade my defender to be able to take the hits and probably the healer to to be able to take it uh, to heal through the damage and I don't have enough fighters realistically which is the uh, the bug of this account but what we've ended up doing is we've done 42 runs we got a total of 620 points and that gives us an average of 14.7 points per run. So on an energy basis, if you're doing the Brave Conquest event, it is much more efficient for us to be running through the Mystery of Artifacts event. And we get artifacts as well, which is a bonus. And they do seem to be relatively good, to be honest. So unfortunately, even with the knowledge that we're getting more points per energy spent on the... Um, Brave Conquest event, I don't think it's going to be enough for us to overcome the deficit we need to actually get enough points to finish off the event. Even with that, I don't think it puts us in a particularly bad spot as we do still have Tales of the Smith event coming tomorrow. That is five fragments and we will push on to get all five one way or another. Um, we also have the Lost Legacy. There's five fragments there. And we have uh, Jewel of Champions. That's another five fragments. So we've still got 15 to come. We've got the five that we will get from this event anyway. So there's 20 more fragments onto our total. So if we go and have a look at how we're looking in the uh, in the fragments at the moment, we'll be able to see that it's not an overly bad place, and we probably only need another five total from anywhere else. So with those 20 fragments coming in, that will take us to 72 out of the 75 required. That means we do only need five from either Awakening of Heroes. Uh, the spiritual altar, never know, might get lucky on some summons. I don't know how easy it is to get the first five. I don't think it's that tricky, so that may be something we can do next weekend. There's also another Brave Conquest coming over. Now that does have almost two days overlap with the Mystery of Artifacts event. So that's a possible to smash that one out. Um, and the other one is this Corridor of Glory. If we can if we can get enough XP, then we can can actually level up our champions, and we should be able to squeeze five points out of that. So there's plenty of options available to us. Now, I have made this somewhat difficult for myself by not overusing extra energy and things like that, only what the game gives you on a daily basis. But I feel if I got too short, then I would actually break into it. It wouldn't be a concern for me. But... I think the spiritual altar, I might go back and have a look to see how easy that was last time. I don't think that was tricky to get the first five. Um, and the corridor of glory, I think maybe we can push on and get the first five fragments out of that as well. So that is another option. So if you have any ideas on what's the easiest way to get another five fragments out of push on on the corridor of glory, the spiritual altar event, or the awakening of heroes event of the weekend, then please tell us down in the comments. Uh, thank you very much for your time today. Drop us a like. S sub thumbs up be much appreciated and i'll see you all again tomorrow thanks very much for your time bye